I apologize for the camera quality. I'm seeing a issue with the, my old camera died completely, um, went out and I got a new camera, sort of temporary setup and I'm just, I'm struggling with it. It's having a focus issue or something. So um, hopefully I get that worked out sooner. I get a better camera, but at this point, this is what I have to work with. So I uh, got another load of firewood from our local waste yard. I was driving by the other day and I noticed somebody cut down a couple maple trees and they had a whole nice pile sitting there. So I stopped in with my Prius after church and I took a load. So probably the biggest load I've ever hauled with the Prius. So I took it pretty easy coming back. Um, but very happy with uh, the wood and how the, the car handles. I have 116,000 miles on my Prius now and I have no problems at all, transmission or anything. And I haul wood like this probably three, four, maybe five times a year. So um, along with other things, uh, I also hauled 40 bags of Cypress mulch today. Um, so you know, always doing something with it, it works great. Also stay tuned for the end of the video. I will have a update on the control arms I made for my Kubota tractor. Those are working great. I will also include a link in the description to uh, another channel I have, which is my original channel. And um, I've been uploading a Blink porch camera content every day. So any activity that's on my front porch every day, um, I just compile it all into one continuous stream. It's usually a minute or two. Um, largely it's chickens, but sometimes it's cats at night or things like that, or deliveries. So it, I just find it interesting to look at, so I figured I'd share it. That should be good for a while. You can see from some of these, some of these are just like six inch logs, so these are pretty small. But some of these are pretty big. So that's gonna be a lot of wood to split. Right there. That's a pretty big log. That's really big. But, you know, I want to fill up all my racks. So, this rack yeah, Let me get it out, okay. So I'm gonna move all that wood into the wood rack by the house. And then you can see I got all fresh wood in here on the ends in the middle there, in the middle there. Yeah, I left the bottom. I should have taken that bottom and moved it, but it was the middle of winter. I didn't feel like it. And this is all fresh stacked yesterday and split yesterday. And I got one more rack that's not used there. So a lot of wood. And this obviously 
is more than what's going to go in my racks. This is a lot more. I plan to do pallets someplace, like even right here on this area or someplace to make up the difference. With the way LP is this year, best investment I made. I bought a 1,000 gallon tank from a guy off a of Craigslist. It was great. Fortunately, it is springtime and you can see sort of the, the ruts I made there. It is what it is. They'll work their way out eventually. How the control arms are working. And let me say they're working great. You can see right now I just have them on the outside to let up to keep them out. But it's uh, year two I think it is since I made them. I love them. Super easy compared to turnbuckles. Um, so I, I definitely would do that again. And here's a little project I'm going to be working on. I'll videotape most of it. We're putting an addition on our house and we're going to put a fireplace in and I got this mantle from Craigslist for 35 bucks. You can't, you, that little extra board I'm going to use to, to finish the bottom cost me 22. So the wood in this, the oak, it's two, this is a two inch piece of oak that's a two by eight. So I don't know what that would cost, but a one by eight, no, it was a two by four. I think it was at Menards was 65 bucks. And, and the prices just are, are crazy as you start getting bigger and wider. So I bet you several hundred in wood in that. So yeah, that's everything I got right now. So now I'm gonna put the trailer away and I'm going in for the day cause I'm tired. Bye-bye.